Looks good. Evening, uh, Sunday evening. It is Earthmaster here checking in live on the uh, Earthquake Live 3D stream. December 27th, 2020 is the date. 7.30 p.m. West Coast time is the current time. And we're like looking at the uh, latest earthquake data on the globe, a 4.4 uh, right around the, uh, wow, that's kind of in that same area where that uh, other quake struck around the Philippines there a couple days ago. But this one's pretty deep. 4.4 striking uh, just, uh, oh, southwest of the Philippines area at 490 kilometers, 489 kilometers below the surface. That's some deep movement. We've seen some major deep movement and some major large scale surface mo movement in the subducting area of South America down here. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Hold on one second. Let's pull up that map. I need to create some hotkeys, I think. There we go. Um, there's that 6.8, uh, actually 6.7, originally a 6.8. Uh, and there has been quite a few aftershocks following that uh, large earthquake earlier. This is an, an area where the largest earthquake ever recorded in mankind history in the world took place back in 1960. That's this little article here on the Wikipedia article, 1960. Always seem to get those dates mixed up, 60, 64, but it was a large earthquake back then of 9.4 to 9.6 that struck within that same area, uh, the subduct subducting area, southwest of uh, Santiago, uh, uh, Chile region there. So yeah, some, no doubt some major movement can take place out there. It's uh, very similar to the North American plate. I'm just really surprised we haven't had anything uh, similar to those uh, size quakes in quite some time. Scoot up here to the north, uh, some activity. I'm trying to think here. This here, well, yeah, most of this activity to the north was a little bit on the older side, I believe, prior to the uh, uh, that large magnitude quake there. Once again, off the coast there of uh, Santiago. And there was no tsunami statement, I believe. I did see that earthquake come through. But I figured I would uh, include that in the update uh, tonight. I don't even think they put out a, uh, a warning. I guess I guess they did there. Let's see here. 6.8. Uh, let's see what they mentioned. Based on all available data, there is no tsunami threat. Okay, so yeah, obviously it's been a few hours ago, but uh, when it came out, uh, that 6.8, uh, just the dynamics of it... Um, and the size just didn't uh, contribute to a potential tsunami, but not saying uh, it never does happen with, with this size of a magnitude quake, but uh, the area that took place here, subducting area, uh, and the depth of this earthquake here just uh, kind of contributed to no tsunami, which is good. But like I said, this here uh, is a very, very scary area for major earthquakes, and history has shown that. Uh, moving up here to North America real quick, some activity up here where I live in Northern California shook me up out of bed this morning. Uh, 3.8, 3.9 originally in uh, Northern California there in the Sacramento Valley, right along the Sacramento River. And I've seen a couple comments there in the uh, update vi update video I did about um, that it's just due to the river, you know, over time um, that they do get earthquakes along the river. Well, you know, possibly yes and no, but the depth of these earthquakes, check it out, 26 kilometers in 19 kilometers uh, pretty much much throws those comments out the window and, the, and I'm gonna show you right now why um, we did talk about the potential for seeing some large-scale trimmer movement right along the Cascadia subduction zone it is now past 7 o'clock and uh, let's go ahead and check that trimmer map out real quick let's bring in the latest info here check that out a lot of movement here in the northern part of Sacramento Valley the earthquake that struck here around Willows was just to the south here, but you got to remember, when we're get when we're getting subducting downstream there in the Cascadia subduction zone, the Juan de Fuca plate, that can contribute to earthquakes here uh, within the vicinity. I mean, this movement has moved tremendously to the south compared to last night. So therefore, I'm 100% certain that those quakes are uh, strict, strictly related to the movement there along the Cascadia subduction zone especially looking at the depth of those quakes there uh, once again 26 kilometers and uh, 19 kilometers here nothing to do with this uh, ancient dormant volcano known as the Sutter Buttes it's a beautiful mountain range there uh, in the winter time when we do get rain the, all the hills and whatnot turn green in the summertime it's a it's a dusty dry rattlesnake ridden place but um 
and that's about oh, 20 miles or so, 25 miles to the northwest, uh, this activity that we've seen, and way deep, way deep. Now, if we've seen this earthquake activity taking place around maybe the potential uh, summit area of these Sutter Buttes, they're long, long dormant. I mean, I don't even think, I don't even recall the last time we've seen earthquake activity there, specifically in there, in the Sutter Buttes. But Cascadia subduction zone, tremor movement, a likely suspect in the quakes that we've seen in Northern California today. Uh, let's see what uh, let's see what some of these dates are. The earthquake this morning struck at 6:44. Um, 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 what do we got here? Yeah, I'm not for sure why these guys aren't going back in time. General Mountain Time. Gen not for sure why I can't get any more than that, but. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely strongly believe those are uh, in relation to one another. The quakes there in, in the Northern Cal, along with the movement there in the Cascadia subduction zone. So that's kind of concerning in a way. We have seen uh, California lighten up like crazy. This is just a 2.5 map and above. I mentioned this, uh, I believe, last night or this morning. I think this morning on the update, I've had one heck of a crazy day, let me tell you. Uh, there's some crazy people in the world. And, uh, man, it makes me want to go hide up in the mountains somewhere. All this earthquake activity in Nevada and uh, even some movement. This movement here, 3.2, struck the San Juan Batista area along the uh, San Andreas Fault System after these quakes up here in Northern California and uh, a couple other ones up here uh, around the uh, uh, Nevada area took place as well. So pretty much a target area, uh, it seems like, over the last 12 hours. We have seen activity die down, okay? If you want to cross off this little 4.4 that struck Philippines just now, look at the rest of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Very quiet. So now, you know, throughout the day today and this morning, it all started with a quake there underneath my feet. Uh, jolted me out of bed. We had a lot of activity up here in Northern California, Oregon area, along the North American plate. The plate boundary itself was relatively quiet, except for that... Uh, that movement there near San Juan Batista. And then we started seeing some mega movement down here in the Chile area. So now we're getting this activity bounce back over here, releasing some energy uh, and further probably relieving stress out here um, along the, uh, the plate boundaries over here in North America and potentially over here in the south part of uh, Chile as well. It's just, it's, it's always a given folks. It's almost, it seems like uh, um, more times than not, how we see this bounce back activity go on. You know, I wouldn't doubt if we start seeing a, a more of an uptick over here now that it uh, seems to be contributing or it seems to be moving pressure out here on this section of the plate now. It may seem like a long shot, but I tell you what, these plates are very minimal when it comes to a scale. They might seem large to us, but uh, on the fractures and the plates and the movement of the mantle and everything that goes on with plate tectonics, these are just some small little cracks in the eggshell that uh, ultimately um, swing back and forth with pressure and 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 um, they do this little dance, a little dance of the Pacific plates there. So we'll have to keep an eye on this region, see if it does indeed pick up here in the uptick uh, in the earthquake department, I should say, uh, for this region. Um, what else we got here? Yeah, tremor map recovered far as the... Um, Yellowstone region goes. It's been relatively quiet. Uh, we haven't really seen too much trimmer going on here lately. Did see a little bit of a ah, uh, that's that this earthquake right here. That's a 6.8 showing up there on the magnitude scales there or on the uh, seismograph stations. A large earthquake such as that will show up uh, in that type of fashion, including over there as well. If this was more of a localized earthquake, this would be a, a very spiky type movement or, or signature on the globe like this and if it was a large earthquake it would be uh, you know lots of red in there uh, indicating that signature but it would be spiky at the same time not drawn out in a wavy type fashion uh, like this here P waves and S waves uh, popping through there uh, through the ground and that seismic uh, seismic station there picking it all up um, all right, folks, uh, not for sure what else we got going on here as far as solar weather goes. Checking that out real quick. It's been one heck of a day. I'm really exhausted. Um, it's just I need some sleep, I think, before I go crazy. Uh, sunspots, some activity going on. 
a geomagnetic three-day forecast indicating uh, just a not a whole lot a potential like 20 percent or less there at the higher higher attitude higher latitudes not attitudes i've dealt with that all day um so yeah nothing really popping off there in the solar weather department folks there's some sunspots out there man i need to calm down there's some sunspots out there um kind of uh cracking up and dissipating a little bit may have to watch this one depending on how close uh, these two get here 2795 but uh, overall you know a little increase in solar sunspot activity but uh, nothing of concern when it comes to solar flares at the moment so all right good night folks have a very safe and happy sunday out there and we will chat you guys a little bit later peace out